Good day, everyone. I have not been blogging, or I mean, making videos for some time, and I'll tell you why. I had chronic fatigue, <laughs> really bad. And uh, what I have to announce today is I've had to give up my written blog because blog writing is takes so much energy. I'm revising all day long. I'm trying to make it perfect. And I can't do that anymore. I'm 80 years old. So I've got to start being more conservative of my energy, my time. I've got to do my memoirs, people. I've got 60 years to, of memoirs left to write. So. Holy crap. <laughs> Yes. I hate to be the one to bring this up, but I believe when you're 80 years old, you ain't got no more 60 years to go, honey. Uh, so, no, no, I have 60 past years of memoirs. Oh, I see. In other yes. words, when you yes. have when you have quit your memoirs, you're 20 years old. Now you've got another 60 uh -huh. to go. That's right. That's right. You and, better uh, start thought, writing uh, real fast. Uh, you I better wrote. be shorthand. Well, I wrote my, my 20 years because I thought, I've got to get that down there, that incarceration uh, after a two-minute interview, not even two minutes. I struck the psychiatrist as being extremely insane, if not crazy. <laughs> Am I supposed to fight that? And so he had to get me under guard. <laughs> Boy, that was quite an experience. I walk in that I walk in that psychiatrist's office, totally innocent, never been to one before, and I did some things that caused him <laughs> to <laughs> to oh maybe I just better take this and issue a beating right now of this man and his irrelevance. <laughs> it's irreverent. This is my video, remember? It's irreverent. Not yours. Yeah, but you've done this twenty seven <laughs> times ago. Oh, so what? We are ourselves all the time. Let, let's get Every on. Every time. Let's get on with not blogging anymore. Uh, yes, I'm not going to blog anymore. I'm not going to write these long. Uh, I think uh, I have thought essays that analyze. Oh, and I hate to give them up. I hate to, but you see, the problem that I perceive it to be. I'm just it's the fact that you have so, so many, so many things into this, uh, what they call this rag Arizona Republic, you know, you, you <laughs> send them in, and you, and what happens is as soon as they recognize your name, they go. <laughs> this used to be. Out. I'm devoted to the Arizona Out. Republic. I don't think they've got a bigger fan. I have video, made so many videos on a story I found in the Arizona Republic. But I'm very fond of newspapers. I have to have newspapers. Well, so am I. And, <laughs> and I have, a, I, well, I suppose I'm a frustrated newspaper columnist, but due to chronic fatigue starting off after that psychiatrist put me in the mental hospital, threatened well, me with electric that shock, what? that's why I never became a writer. That's how I did fulfill my destiny. Well, but what, what has this got to do with you not blogging anymore? Everything. So I made myself into an, a columnist without pay on the internet. Breitbart Bart did it. If you don't know Ooh. who he is, he said, uh, we'll make ourselves into journalists. I, I read that and I thought, no, 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 that no. is the greatest idea in the world. That's what I'm going to do. And I discovered blogging, and I've been blogging for ever since. And now I'm 80 years old. I didn't discover it. You know, it didn't happen soon enough. When, so when did you discover it? <laughs> About 10 years ago. When I've been blogging steady so for 10 years. You're 70 years, now. years old. And you start blogging. <laughs> yeah, that's well. That's when they started doing it, and I I I didn't discover it uh, for a while. But when I did, I said. Instead of writing letters to the Arizona Republic and then, or any other publication and them throwing it away, I am going to go on the internet and put it in my blog. And so I did. And all, the, all those years that I'd spent writing protest letters, I had a lot to say. 
I had covered a lot of issues, so I was ready. And I had a wonderful time blogging. It was just like being a newspaper columnist without, you know, actually being one. <laughs> so I was no longer nearly so frustrated. I didn't know you were frustrated. <laughs> well, of course I was frustrated. You know, I'm so, uh, because I didn't get to be the, the writer that I dreamed of, the published writer. So I'm still trying to get published. And that's what I've got to do, people. I've got to write my memoirs. And believe me, my memoirs will be worth reading because I will be charting all my bizarre activities, you know, the kind that got me locked up. <laughs> I promise you won't be disappointed <laughs> when you read my memoir. <laughs> so anyway, uh, off with blogging and on to memoir writing, but I will be doing videos. So if something comes up in Arizona that I really need to talk about, you'll see it Wait on video. Wait a minute. All right. Now, I hate to be the one to pop your bubble here. <laughs> you can't pop my bubble. Yeah. I just saw one of these wonderful things in the state of Arizona that I thought was really intelligent. And uh, let's see, where is it now? <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, legislature okays guns in public. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I don't want to touch that. I don't have a gun, you don't have a gun, and nobody ever better give you one. But I'm going to say goodbye right now. <laughs>